Hello, my name is John Burns from Final Cut Pro Classes in New York City. And in this tutorial, I would just like to show you how to use the position tool in Final Cut Pro X. Right now we're in the selection tool, which is the default. And what the selection tool does is when I move a clip out of the main storyline here, it closes the gap, okay? And a lot of times you don't want the gap to be closed. For instance, I have some keyframes here and some keyframes here for some music that comes up in these clips. If I move this to put it somewhere else, it's going to close the gap and all my keyframes here are now going to be off. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So a lot of times you do want to leave a gap. If you want to delete something and you hit delete, it also pulls everything over the which you might not want. So you instead of hitting the big delete, you can hit uh, on a small keyboard shift delete will actually leave a gap or on the bigger keyboard you have that little delete that forward delete key will leave a gap when something's selected so I'm going to undo that so that takes us to the position tool so we have a little bit of an interview here we have skip talking and then we see what he's talking about they're making some shirts and we see him talking again and we see them making shirts again and we see him talking one more time and we have b-rolled a little bit of um, some office shots on top which you know can be moved around and so I b-rolled skip by putting this clip on top now I'm looking at this clip here and I'm thinking well maybe I can pull this up and roll it on top of skip a little bit so I can see more of what he's talking about and then come back to him about here. But I can't do that with the selection tool because again, if I pull this up, it closes the gap, which I don't want. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide that back down and let it push everything over. So here's a good job for the position tool. I'm gonna drop this menu down and go to the position tool. And I'm gonna pull this clip straight up. And now you can see that it leaves a gap and nothing slides over. So I'm still seeing this full clip um, and now I'm able to drag it out further. And so now I have this woman uh, folding a shirt. And Skip is still talking underneath, but I get to cover a little bit of him up. And then I come back to him. And I still have this audio issue here where I don't want this audio to be full while Skip is talking. So I'll just hold the option key down and put a couple keyframes here and then pull the audio levels down right as Skip starts talking. So that way I'll hear Skip, but I'll still see the shot on top while he's talking. So that's a short tutorial on how to use the position tool in Final Cut X. Thank you.